AEW's Dax Harwood makes plea for CM Punk and the Elite to find a way to make it work. FTR is debuting a brand new podcast and in their first episode, Dax Harwood deep dives into the situation between CM Punk and the Elite. Hey there everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo, you're watching the latest and let's get into this story. On the debut edition of his FTR podcast that launches Wednesday, FTR's Dax Harwood went deep into the AEW situation between CM Punk, the Young Bucks, and Kenny Omega, which included a plea to all parties to work things out for the betterment of the business. Harwood said he isn't sure if CM Punk will ever return to AEW, but hopes that he does as he wants a locker room that the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and CM Punk are all a part of. He made a plea to all four men involved to, quote, please find a way to make it work to better the future of the business. A transcript was provided to Fightful and we got some of the quotes right here. Dax Harwood said, quote, With those four entities, it makes our talent roster so much deeper and better. It's four guys who want to be the best. Regardless of what any of us think personally, I know that we all want to be the best and I know we all want the best for professional wrestling. He also added, If we can make it work, we can set up the future of professional wrestling for a long time and we can change the course of professional wrestling for a very long time. When you think about it, unselfishly, we are doing this for wrestlers 20 to 30 years down the road so guys and girls can make a living. He also went into detail about the events that unfolded at All Out. Harwood said everyone was having a good time backstage, and it wasn't until he and his family were back at the hotel that he began hearing about what transpired via text messages from others. He then said he got a FaceTime from CM Punk himself shortly after, still covered in blood from his match with John Moxley, who told him about what happened as Harwood listened in disbelief. He said he isn't sure what the real story is and has questioned some of the elements that are being reported as they, quote, raise a red flag to him, while saying he has heard some bits of truths from others he has spoken with. Regardless, he said he wishes fans would let the situation go saying, quote, I think fans should let what happened happen and let it die down. When it's all said and done, I can't tell you that I know 100% of the truth, and I can't tell you that the journalist reporting is 100% of the truth. I know what I perceive to be the truth, and from the things I've read and heard, there is a partial truth and partial things that are a bit exaggerated. Harwood said that in talking with CM Punk, he learned that he didn't want the AEW title and wanted to just have fun, as he was, quote, still so joyous and happy to be in the wrestling business. However, he did so because he knew it would help the company. Dax Harwood also spoke about some of the nice things that CM Punk did for the locker room, saying, quote, He was taking me, Cash, MJF, Wardlow, Hobbs, I'm missing so many guys. He was taking us out to eat, always paying for it. He bought all the girls in the locker room Starbucks gift cards and had one of the girls hand them out anonymously and didn't say who they were from, but it was from him just because he loved the atmosphere and loved being there. He also loved the work the girls were putting in. He thought they were busting their ass to try and get the attention that WWE's women's division was getting. Well, there you go. That is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of this story and some of the things that Dax Harwood had to say in the comments section below. But now, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online, and I also invite you guys to check out my show, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, which is live three times a week here on F4W, on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Until next time, I'm Denise Salcedo. See you guys later. Bye, everyone.